guys! Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a what I got for Christmas haul. I love these videos. I think they're super fun. I'm a nosy bitch, so I like to know what other people got for Christmas. I think it's interesting. Obviously, if you don't like watching these videos, why'd you click on this? I don't know. Um, I'm not trying to brag it anyway. I'm not. You guys know the drill. You watch those these videos a lot. Like that is the disclaimer every single time. So yeah, that's my disclaimer. Um, I'm sorry it's been a really long time. December was a hectic month, so I didn't really have a ton of time to film. I had exams, I had a bunch of family over, friends over, my sister threw this giant ball for her debutante crap. Um, but it was really, really fun, and I hope everyone had an amazing holiday and time with their family. Um, and now we all have to return to reality pretty soon, which is not great. So why don't we just talk about what we got for Christmas instead? I don't know what to start with. Should I start with beauty? I didn't get that much makeup. Normally I ask for a lot of makeup, but I feel like this year I've been buying kind of what I want. And now with makeup releases, it's kind of like you have to be sitting on the computer 10 minutes before it even launches to make sure you get the product. So it's really hard to ask other people to buy makeup for you for presents or, you know, not even ask, just someone knows you like a brand because it's really hard to get your hands on these products. Um, so I didn't ask for that much makeup because I feel like I've been treating myself to a lot of makeup. So, um, yeah, but I did get some. Let me talk about it. The first beauty item I got was the Huda Beauty Nude Light Palette. This is the, obviously, the lightest one. Um, in the range. She has three of them. There's like a light, medium, and deep. Um, and this is so pretty. I've never tried anything from Huda's brand before. I thought a lot of things were pretty, like the Mercury Retrograde palette. I thought it was gorgeous. Um, but I'm just kind of intimidated by her prices and the whole Instagram concept of her brand. That I, I feel like a lot of things are meant to be like used on camera. I don't know, I've never really gotten into it, but if you guys have any good recommendations for Huda's products, leave them down below. Um, she is newly cruelty-free, I believe. Um, but yeah, this is the Nude Light Palette. I so asked. I asked for this palette because I swatched this shade in stores because it was so, so beautiful. I love a good shimmer shade that you can like put all over the lid. I'm like, oh, It's just so freaking reflective. Yeah, I'm about to go on a trip, so I'm going to take this with me. I think this is a great travel palette. That's what I was thinking in my brain. I was like, it's a nine pan travel palette, obviously, because when I travel, I'm mostly doing neutrals because you don't have that much time to get ready, and I'm just kind of an autopilot, so I thought this would be such a good travel palette. Yeah, that's the Huda Beauty palette. I <laughs> finally decided that I wanted a new mascara, obviously. Um, and I was looking through options. I really wanted to get something cruelty-free. I'm not 100% cruelty-free. I have a lot of products that aren't cruelty-free in my vanity, but I'm trying to be more conscious of those purchases going forward and try to limit the amount of products I consume and purchase that aren't cruelty-free. Um, but So I was looking for a cruelty-free mascara, and Benefit mascaras have been my favorite for so, so long, but obviously Benefit isn't cruelty-free. So I wanted to try the Milk Kush Mascara, and so um, I found this in my stocking, and this is, I'm wearing it today, I'm still figuring out my thoughts, you know, still thinking about it a lot. It's got a really weird feeling, like it feels lighter and you're not really sure it's doing anything to your eyelashes until like the second coat maybe, and then you get these like big dramatic lashes, or at least, I don't know, my lashes today they fluctuate in what they look like. Um, but I wouldn't say this is like the best mascara I've ever tried, but of course I've only used it like twice. So it's very heavy. Like That seems kind of unnecessary why this packaging is so heavy, especially because mascara you use so quickly. Um, but yeah, that's the Kush Mascara from Milk. The next beauty product I got was the Fenty Gloss Balm gift set. Um, this is phenomenal, amazing. My mom knows I love these gloss bombs. And like, look at the set they're in. There's five minis in here. I've only tried this pink one and it was phenomenal. 
I love the gloss bombs so much. And this is such a pretty set. I mean, what more can you say? It's a bunch of baby gloss bombs. And I love it. Okay, now we're moving on from makeup. Um, should we talk about clothes? I don't think clothes are that interesting. Am I the only one? I think it's because I'm so makeup oriented that, I don't know, I'm always like, your makeup makes the outfit, not your clothes. Um, but I thought I would show you some of my favorite pieces. I put a lot of them away in my closet. I think it's really hard to show clothes without trying them on. Um, but I'm wearing this shirt today, which is like a free people moment that I got um, for Christmas. It's like a tie-dye moment. I've seen these in store for a while. And I really wanted one, so um, I asked for it. So, yeah. Another thing from Free People I got was this cardigan, which is like a very soft pink. It looks like a sneed from the Lorax, um, and it's it's beautiful. Um, this is definitely like a weird material, but it's like right up my alley. Um, I love stuff like this that is like fuzzy, that has a weird texture. I love the pink color. This is like 100% me. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't really have much to say about clothes. I don't know if that's just me, but it's a pink, fluffy cardigan. I also, from Free People, again, buy a lot of my clothes there, so it makes sense that my mom would buy a lot of clothes there for me. Um, I got this Fleetwood Mac Rumors t-shirt, which is amazing. Um, it's obviously just the album cover. Um, there's Stevie, my queen. This is one of my favorite albums of all time. So, um, I guess it's a lot of people's favorite album of all time. It's a great album. Um, but I have the t-shirt. So, yeah. I don't really have any... I'm so weird about clothes, I literally just don't know what to say about them. Like, it's a t-shirt. There. My mom got me a bunch of, like, stretchy... Le well, they're le there's leggings, so they are stretchy by definition. But, like pleather looking leggings. She got me two pairs and these ones are Spanx and I think the other ones are Athleta. I'm not like a leggings person. I really just wear jeans in the winter, like black jeans or blue jeans. That's just how I am. Um, but she's trying to like get me to be like a leggings person, um, which I'll take that challenge, but I don't know how good this is going to look on me. Um, I've tried them on, they fit, but they're like a pleather <laughs> A pleather look. I like them. I do. I just need to figure out how that works into my lifestyle. Because I'm really not a leggings person unless I'm working out. So. I also got these little boots from North Face that are like made out of little down jackets. They're pretty cute. I'm not an outdoorsy person, but obviously I do a lot of walking back and forth to class and my mom thought these would be pretty good. Also we have, um, we go skiing a lot. You obviously wouldn't go skiing in these, but just walking around the mountains. I feel like these would be pretty good. Pretty good shoes for mountain walking, hiking, that kind of thing. You know. One of my favorite presents comes from one of my favorite companies ever, which is Barefoot Dreams, which is amazing. If you haven't tried Barefoot Dreams, everything they make is amazingly soft and gorgeous and so 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 comfy so this is a robe um that basically yeah it's hard to show a robe on camera but it has um can you see that <laughs> not at all <laughs> it has mickey mouse on the back um i love disney um my mom and i go to disney world a lot <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing um but I love Disney and I love Barefoot Dreams. I also love being comfortable and robes. So this combines a lot of my favorite things. Um, and after I'm done filming, I'll probably climb back into this same robe because it's amazing. So, oh, Barefoot Dreams, so, so good. On the Disney train of things, you know, <laughs> it's in a Walt Disney World bag. This is a little Kate Spade bag. Um, they sell these in Disney World, obviously. It has Minnie Mouse on the corner. So I saw this back when we were in Disney in November, 
October? Um, October. And I was like, wouldn't that be so cute to carry around the park? Like, that's adorable. And my mom managed to make it happen. It's so cute. She's applying lipstick. I fucking love lipstick. So this is amazing. And then there's little, like, kisses on the back. This is phenomenal. I love it. So good. So, so very good. Just gonna put her back in her bag. I can't wait to use her, you know? This next gift. This next gift is from my sister. She's amazing. She's older than me. We're a year and three days apart. We're best friends. And she got me this Kate Spade backpack with a French bulldog on it. I don't have a French bulldog, but I love French bulldogs. Like a lot. Like I have a problem. I suppose this could also be a Boston Terrier, but they market him as a French bulldog because he kind of has that like bit of white there that Boston Terriers do. But look at his sunglasses. It is so cute. So this you can wear as a crossbody, but it's mostly a backpack. Um, and this is adorable. I'm leaving for London on Friday, so in two days from filming this. And I can't wait to carry this around. It's so cute. I, I love this so much. I feel like this definitely has to go to a specific person because I know plenty of people who would not appreciate this. But I, I mean, this is right up my alley. It's sparkly, sequined, French bulldog. It's magic. It's amazing. Another thing my sister got me, which I have amazing siblings, I'm aware, is this tiny little star pendant, which is actually a vintage Gucci piece. So, uh, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, okay. It says Gucci on it, and then I think it says Made in Italy. But it is this cute little pendant. Um, I love little dainty necklaces. Um, I love all little dainty jewelry. So I just have my little, my little jewelry, which is so cute. Um, and Gucci. What a mood. I love it. The next gift is from my brother, and it is easily the nicest thing anyone has ever given me, ever. I do not typically receive <laughs> presents like this. Um, but my brother just wanted to do something special. He's older than me. He's got a fancy job on Wall Street. So he decided to treat me for Christmas. And when I unwrapped the packaging, I saw it was a Saint Laurent box. And I was like, what? i pretty sure I made like the dumbest surprise face ever. But inside, and it had a bow and it was like Saint Laurent. And it was, ugh. Um, and inside, there is the... You know, this is a Saint Laurent real thingy. Um, and then inside this little dust bag, there is this gorgeous YSL wallet. And I love it. I love it so much. And this is just so special. It's vegan leather. Um, YSL red bag. I don't really know what else to say about it because it's so special. Um, but it is a little, a little old wallet, um, yeah, for my big girl wallet dreams. I'm really bad about wallets. <laughs> I normally carry around all my credit cards on, like, a keychain, um, because I don't deserve something like this <laughs> at all. I'm a monster, but, you know, when I decide to be a big girl and put my money in a wallet, uh... I have it. <laughs> I'm like scared to use it because it's so gorgeous and beautiful and amazing. And um, my brother made sure to get silver hardware, which is like important to me. <laughs> of course, I would have loved it if it had gold hardware, but just the fact that he thought of it and like I never wear gold, so he didn't get gold. I was like, it's so sweet. My brother. There are more clothes and stuff wandering around that I got for Christmas that I just, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, of course I know where they went. They're like, I'm packing for my trip. So a lot of them are in piles to put in my suitcase. And a lot of presents from friends that I don't have in this pile. Because I have saved them in other places of the house. It's kind of chaotic right now. I'm still getting my shit together. Um, but the last present I got is here. <laughs> it's hard to see because it's huge. 
But this is an away suitcase. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what this is. I like terrorize people with Instagram ads. Um, but, hello. It, it is basically this like blue gray with a mint zipper, um, which is so, so cute. I'm like really into that. I love mint, it's my favorite color. And then I even have a luggage tag that says my initials. Um, so that's fancy. Uh, my family uh, is addicted to away bags. We have like five or something. Um, and my mom is tired of me stealing hers. So, so <laughs> she got me one, um, which is really thoughtful of her. I think I'm the last member of my family to get an away suitcase. Um, but I'm very grateful for my suitcase. And I'm going to take it to London with me um, tomorrow. Friday. <laughs> in fact, speaking of London, that was like my main present, um, was a ticket to see my friend Harley. Um, I think she's on a video in my channel, um, but a ticket to see Harley in London. Um, she's one of my dearest, closest friends. Uh, she lived with me for like six months or something, um, and we just became really, really close in that period of time. She lives in London, um, and we're doing a little girls trip, which is going to be really, really awesome. Um, so that is the bulk of what I got for Christmas. Um, obviously I am so, so grateful for all of these things. Um, things are not what makes the holiday, obviously. Um, but it's a nice way to share, show people you care about them. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I love y'all. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm going to be making hopefully more videos in January. So keep watching. Bye!